we want to write the equation of this trig graph. So let us write the main things that we can see. So this is a trig graph. So this is the baseline. This is the baseline. This is the maximum. And this is the minimum. So let me write, say, the minimum is, say, 4. OK, I'm just making up numbers. So this is, say, baseline is 7, and the maximum is 10. OK. So yeah, let me write the important facts here. So the baseline is very clear, is 7. The next, thing, next important fact is your period. Your period is from your, your starting at 0, which is your minimum, and you're coming back to your minimum at 16. So your period is 16. OK. Uh, we'll have to use these numbers later on. So let's write what we see. The amplitude is the distance from the baseline to the maximum, or the distance from the baseline to the minimum. So the amplitude here is amplitude is 3. Now, a basic sine graph starts at baseline, maximum, baseline, minimum, baseline. So this is your sine graph, and this is your cost graph. Okay, let me show you that on a calculator. Uh, where is my calculator? Oops. Mm. I may have to minimize this. Oops, it is there. Here we go. Okay. So this is my cal. If you press so uh, shift, let me look up my setting. I want in degrees. So this is degrees and. Uh, then let me type in sine of x or sine x, just like that. And then go to your trig scale from 0 to 360. So this is your sine graph. Starts at the baseline, hits maximum of 1, baseline, minimum, uh, baseline. So just to show you the maximum, maximum you hit 91, 90 you get the maximum, and minimum would be at 270. Now minus sine x, if you put a minus in front of sine, what will happen? So this is your basic sine graph. The top one is your sine graph, and the bottom one is minus sine x. So what's happening? This is flipping over. So this is your sine graph. This, this is your minus sine x. Now if, let's see what's the cos graph. Cos graph also has a period of 360, so cos x. This is your cos graph, and if you type in minus cos x, you get you are starting at minimum, baseline, and so on. Okay, so now that's what I uh, have drawn here. So this is sine x, and this is cos x. So I hope you can see this is minus sine. This is a negative cos graph. So here I will start the equation like this, y is equal to, uh, let me write the general solution of any equation. So y is equal to a times bx plus d. Okay. Now a tells you the amplitude. There's also one more fact here. I'm not discussing that now. A is the amplitude. B tells you the period. B tells you the from B, you can find the period. So B, the formula for B is, B is equal to period or 360 divided by the period. I'll explain that later on. Just you write, this is a good formula to remember. And D is your baseline. So A is the amplitude. B, from B, you can decide the period. Or from the period, you can decide the B. And D is your baseline. So I can see the baseline is baseline. What's the baseline? Baseline is 7. So I can say Y is equal to, as it's a negative cos graph, it will be negative 7 cos. I'll put something X. I'll put, so let me write this as closely as possible. 
it's very easy if you know how to write a trig graph or equation of it. Y is equal to minus 7, minus 7, or negative 7 cos something x plus 7. Oh, your amplitude, what's your amplitude? Amplitude is not 7, amplitude is 3. So it's negative 3 cos something x plus 7. Now here, you have got, you've got a period of 16. So your B is 360 divided by 16. 360 divided by 16. So let me not use the calculator. You can divide by, so this is, divide both of them by 4, which is 90 over 4. Okay, 90 over 4 is 45 over 2 which is 22.5. We'll confirm this on a calculator. 22.5 is your B. Okay, so here I will write 22.5x. Okay, so here in other words, uh, this one period it requires 16 degrees, in other words. So for in 360, you have 22 and a half cycles. Okay, so let me get, uh, where is my calculator? I keep losing, losing the calculator. Oh, it's sitting here. I didn't minimize it. Okay, yeah. Okay, so yeah. And if I find the, yeah, here's my calculator. So, uh, go to graph and let me delete the equation. Delete and delete and I'll type in minus 3 cos 22.5 x plus 7 and now I need to change my scale so shift V window I'll go from 0 to uh, 20 okay and a scale of 4 I'm going to pitch of 4 and I'll go from 0 to 10, scale of 2, and then draw it. Here you got, this is one cycle and a quarter cycle. So just to confirm, you're getting maximum at 8. Okay, so what was the maximum? You get maximum of 8 at 3. Okay, so we need to confirm that. So where are we? Okay, I keep losing it. So GSOL and maximum. At 8, you get the maximum of 10. Okay, and GSOL go to minimum. At 16, you get the minimum. Hopefully, this video has been helpful. I'll be making more videos on how to make, how to write equation of trig graphs. Uh.